In this session, we are going to discuss about attribute controls. For an item. Okay. So, what is meant by attribute? First of all, attributes are the properties which are used to determine the behavior of the items used in different functional areas, which means that uh, just by creating an item means we can't use that item in different functional areas. Uh, just say for example, uh, electronics. Under electronics, I have um, created some uh, tube or uh, anything. Okay, so that item I cannot use by default uh, in inventory management, warehouse management or uh, finance management. So we can't use that by default. Instead of that, we have to define uh, attributes for each and every functional area, which means that for each and every uh, product family. Okay, so that means uh, whether we have to use that uh, um, product uh, in uh, inventory management or order management or procurement management okay that for that we have to create an attributes we have to define an attribute so based on attributes we have to control in which functional area this item has to use okay that is the uh, that is the main intention of create i mean controlling the uh, attributes or creating an attributes okay so here these attribute controls we can overcome through uh, at master level we can control attributes at master level or we can control at org level which means that at member level or you can say okay so master level and org level we can control these attributes so let's say for example i have created one item item one okay so uh, here this item is uh, let's say it is at uh, yeah one item we have created at master organization level okay so at master level we have created one item whether this item is uh, whether all the attributes defined under master level we can uh, use it at a member level or not that also we have to define for that you see uh, i will explain you examples clearly uh, let's say for one item we have some attributes called uh, let's say for example inventory inventory item this is one attribute and stockable one uh, attribute and transaction transactionable or transaction enable these are the three attributes we have okay so these three attributes if you say um, for item one at master level whether it is at org level or master level let's say at master level uh, it is yes i define okay uh, and stockable also you define s yes. transactionable also you define it as s yes. it should be at org level okay the control should be at Inventory organization control should be at org level. I given. Okay. Let's say uh, now I given I uh, for inventory item I given it as a master as S. Uh, I mean I have created this enab enabled at master level, but stockable and transactionable uh, I enabled at org level, which means that member level. Okay. So, uh, here we have to remember two points clearly that, uh, let me uh, write it down. So, one point is, um, we can master level attributes can be set at
only master or only okay whereas let me write it down the second point as well so arg level attributes can be set at arg and master level master arg level as well okay which means that if you uh, enable any attribute at a master level then we can edit or we can uh, update or anything at master organization level only but if we define any attribute at org level then we can uh, we can't edit that at um, sorry we can edit at master uh, master level as well as organization level both okay i will uh, show you this clearly with the practical so that you can uh, understand okay for that purpose let me open first of all uh, here uh, just go to setup and maintenance and then um, in the product family select product management well, set, yes product management click on product management yes now we it got here you just type uh, attribute so attribute spell uh, see here click on this manage operational attribute groups okay click on that this is under items here if you observe clearly that these are the operational attribute groups which are in a existing okay in an existing system we all have these uh, i mean by default it comes for all these are the attributes so now let's just take for inventory uh, we will take it for inventory search for inventory inventory under inventory also we have lot of groups lot lot serial number and invoiced okay there are lot of things stock transactable see here transaction enable stock and let me take inventory first under inventory inventory manage inventory item i take okay so just see this this uh we are trying to edit this is controlled at uh, let me edit master level okay so i'm just editing this is at master level and stockable and as well as uh, transaction enable at member level organization level okay i mean just uh, this one at organization level yes it is already there so no need to edit this so only we uh, say, uh, save it at inventory item as a master level we enable. So remaining stock and uh, transactionable at um, automation level it is there. Now just save and close we can see. Close save and close. Control level of some attributes has changed to master automation, initiating a synchronization process for existing items. Do you want to continue? Yes. So whatever the changes we have done, uh, pick uh, date and time for scheduling this process. Now I will uh, do it for today right now. At what is the time? Mm, now it is six o'clock. Okay. Yes. My process was submitted. Now we just click on save and close. Yeah. Now go to uh, <coughs> schedule process once. 
here in the tools we have a schedule process yes. click on that uh, actually it has to schedule our yeah see it is Now I am going to try to uh, create a product. So here, product management, product information management. Just click on that. We have to create a new item. Create an item. See here, organization. I'm going to select that master level class. I'm going to select the BB learn item class. Okay, now click on OK. Now here, I'm going to select item one and description I'm giving item 1 and status should be active here also I'm selecting active and uh, you just come to uh, here unit of me measurement I'm just giving uh, uh, anything right now I'm not discussing about this unit of measurement so I'm just selecting uh, this one okay now go to specifications See here, this is the main important thing. You have to uh, clearly observe this. See, uh, item organization is you have you just see observe here. Click on inventory. Okay, inventory item we selected as master. So it is it can change at only master level, and this. Stock we can change at master level or member level. Okay, so let me uh, change it to yes. Okay, mm, now what we have to do go to um, now save. Save it. I'm what I am trying to do is item one has following it. It may be enabled if customer order is enabled. Yes, mm, let me. Yeah, click on the sales and customer order also we click on yes okay now just save it associations yeah see already master is there now we just uh, click on select and that i am going to uh, try to select member as well member okay so apply and that so this item i have uh, assigned to a member as well item one okay now what we can do is we just open this item one as of now this item one with the zero six means what master organization now i am going to try to open it with the member organization let save and close okay now i will try to open it again manage items so here item one i'm just searching okay so item one with both the organization you see zero six is with the master organization and zero seven is with the chair member organization so i'm just trying to open it with the chair organization which means member organization so you see here 07 with the member organization i will show you with the see here whether it is with the member organization or not see here. 07 is with the member organization so here you just go to specifications now let's try to observe the changes what i have done i have uh, given this inventory item is at what master level so i've changed it right in attribute groups so this uh, i changed it as a 
master level so now as i open this item at or, uh, org level which means uh, member level so this is non editable so we cannot edit this uh, i mean the uh, edit option will not be able to allow see here uh, but stock and transaction is enabled at org level because it is uh, i mean the control is at org level only okay so this is disabled now because this is defined at master level which means uh, at uh, yeah master level it is enabled so this is how we have to control the uh, uh, control any kind of uh, um, attributes okay so now what we have to do is um, so this is how uh, these two points which we discuss see uh, this inventory item we defined it as at a master level so this attribute uh, is enabled or editable at only master level that is the reason at um, uh, org level it is disabled so we cannot edit but org level attributes can be set as org and master organization level both so which means that see this uh, is editable at member level as well as uh, if you see at uh, let me open try to open at uh, here this is at 006 i will try to open this is master level so at uh, master level also that options will get enabled okay Let's see this inventory inventory item is or uh, see stop and transaction enable defined at org level but it we can edit at organization level as well as master level okay so this is how these two points uh, we were discussed uh, yeah so this is about how to uh, control the attributes now in the next video we, have, we will see about uh, attribute uh, status okay status settings and all so i hope you understood well thank you